Good day. My name is Simon Browning, and here we'll have a demonstration on front-end text editing with Typo3. On your screen, you should see the Our Green directory website. It's a website that has a number of content-based pages, as well as a directory of environmentally friendly products and services. In this demonstration, we're going to edit some text on the home page here. So to do that, I need to first log into my back end. So let me bring up the login page. And I got it wrong. And I'm going to enter my login information. And I have a choice of two ways to log in, front end or back end. Front end interface and the back end inf interface are different, but through both you can edit text on the website. The back end has sort of more stuff to it. Front end shows us the website, shows us everything exactly as it looks so that we can edit it right there. Let me dive right in and click log in. What happens is it will take us back to the home page. Now this site's not live yet, it's in development, so the home page is actually a blank page. I'm going to just manually type in the address of it. Once the site's live, of course, that wouldn't be necessary, but it would automatically go right back to this page. Now, you can see we have uh, edit panels and icons showing up on the page. And what these pencils are is, well, they show up after things that are editable. So, take for example this headline, Welcome to a Greener, More Environmentally Friendly World. If I click this edit pencil after it, what will happen is a little panel pops up with the text, welcome to a greener, more environmentally friendly world. And let's add a little extra text on the end there, make a change. And I even spelled it wrong, that's fine. Now, we have some uh, save controls at the top here and some others. Let me go through these quickly here. X is for closing the document, so it would actually close this edit panel uh, without saving my change. So maybe we realize we don't want to make a change, I'll just close it. The floppy disk icon here is for saving the document, and so it will save the change I just made, but leave me here looking at this edit uh, panel. I'm going to skip this one here, I'm going to go to this one, which is save and close. So it would save the change I've just made and close this panel, taking me back to the web page. Now we're going to do that in just a second. After that, we have a trash can. That would actually delete the headline altogether, so we don't actually want to do that. Uh, and then we have an undo button. And what that will do is undo the last change that was made. And you can see here it was made seven minutes ago. With this button, you can always undo the last change. Through other methods of using the system, you can actually undo more than just one change, uh, but we won't go into that just now. So uh, we've made our change, make a change. Let's save and close. When I do that, it'll be take us back to the home page of the website and you can see that it's updated. Our title now says, Welcome to a Greener, More Friendly, More Environmentally Friendly World. Make a chinage. Uh, let's edit this and take that out of there altogether. Now I could hit the undo button, but in this case I'm just backing up and uh, I'm going to save and close that. And the change is gone. Let's look at this bigger body copy text here. Let's hit the edit pencil after it. And we're going to get another uh, edit screen. Now this one's a little different because it's not a headline, it's actually body copy. And we have icons in the top, much like you would find in Word or an email program or what have you. We've got the bold and italicize and strike through. We've got left align and right align, uh, bullets and icons, and, and uh, uh, indents. Basically, uh, your standard editing controls. So let's make a change here make a change and we have the same save controls in fact you'll find these same controls all through typo 3 so save and close and once again our screen will update and we have make a change so let's go back in there and get rid of it and this time instead of deleting it out i will just use the undo button undo redo last change and it says it was zero minutes ago and if i scroll down and look yes it actually is gone now so i can save and close that and our text is back the way we wanted it. Now, notice underneath this uh, area, we've got actually this larger edit panel. This edit panel can edit the whole thing. This is actually a complete content element with a headline and text. We just have the opportunity to edit them separately. But should we want to edit the whole thing altogether, we could use this pencil here, Edit Record, which brings up the edit panel for the entire content element. And there's a general tab, which has the header right here, Welcome to a Greener, More Environmentally Friendly World. And there's a text tab, which has the actual text and that text editor we saw. Uh, there's a media tab. If there were images in that element, they could be in here. 
and there's access which I won't go into now. And then we have our save, same save controls on the top of the page. So I've made no changes, so I'm just going to hit the X to close it. It is possible to have multiple content elements like this on a page, so you would have multiple multiples of these panels. So maybe you have one block here, and then you have another block with a panel, and then another block with a panel. You can actually reorder them using these up and down arrows. So maybe you realize, hmm, that second paragraph should be the first paragraph. You can move them up and down like that. You can do other things through this that I'm not going to go into now, like hiding the element, creating new elements, and trashing it all together. So there you have it, a brief overview of front-end text editing with Typo 3. Thank you very much.